And unlike last year, many of today's events were in person. News 8's Jill Lafergie has a story of one salute that also served as a lesson to students at a local high school on the importance of honoring our veterans. Here in the main hallway at Forest Hill Central is a wall honoring graduates who also served and includes a touch screen that tells their story. All our veterans' stories are different. And today, students at Forest Hill Central were able to put a voice with some of those pictures. 1981 FHC graduate Bill Boyke joined the Navy after graduation. Our ship was involved in the Libya operations, you know, the line of death off the Sidra deal. And one of the students he shared his stories with was his own nephew. Matt Boyke knew a little bit about his Uncle Bill's service to the country. I know he was a Navy member. I did not know exactly what ship he was on. His ship was the USS Ticonderoga. The guided missile cruiser's technology ushered in a new era for the Navy. The weapon system, the radar system, was state-of-the-art. Well, well advanced. The one on one with Mac brought on a new understanding and a new appreciation for his uncle's service. I learned the stories of not just this veteran, but all the veterans here today and all the experiences they went through. And it's such Efforts to educate students on the importance of veterans goes well beyond today's ceremonies. The names of over 300 Forest Hill Central graduates who served appear on the veterans' wall, including five who didn't come home. And when you look at that, and some of them were 20, 21, 22, it really brings it home. I think, I think it's important for them to realize that this is the ultimate sacrifice. And while today was set aside to honor those who served, the stories they share are also meant to inspire the students. So what they bring to our country, they bring so much leadership because of what they've done. They've served for our country. They've protected us. They are some of the most noble people that we can know and learn from. If you know of a Forest Hill graduate who should be on this wall, the school would like to hear from you. We have that contact information at woodtv.com. In Ada, Joe Lafergie, News 8.